Sega is one of the most important companies in history when it comes to video games today. I want to celebrate Sega. I want to look at all their different launch trailers, launch commercials, launch ads for all their different consoles from day one of them being around till the day they were no more. Let's get into the history of Sega launch commercials. In 1983, Japan got the SG-1000. This was Sega's first home console, created in an attempt to transition from the arcade game industry. A style of ad that sets out to make a gamer feel like they are a part of this experience, like they are one with this commercial. Without knowing what this lady is actually saying at all, I really am digging the style of this video game ad here. Next we got the SG-1000 Mark II, an upgraded version of the SG-1000 with detachable controllers. An interesting way to look at a video game ad is to look at it strictly at visuals, and this is what I had to do here again for this. I really like the music in this ad, it gets my brain set into a tone and in a mode of adventure, and I think if a commercial can do that without me knowing what I am actually hearing is a win in my book. This commercial was a win on all different levels for me. In 1986, we got the 8-bit underdog that blew my mind back then and still blows my mind to this day. We got the Sega Master System. What a beautiful commercial. This to me perfectly puts my heart into nostalgia mode in the best ways. We have beautiful 80s sounds oozing out of our speakers. We have a wonderfully great announcer for the time and we have perfect nostalgia storm for this video. Sega challenges you with the ultimate video games. Games that'll blow you away. Like Alex Kidd in Miracle World. And coming soon, Monopoly. Knockout games like Rocky. Gangster Town. A shift into more excitement with the arcade hit Outrun. Only on the Sega system. Sega, the challenge will always be the height of the Bit Wars in 1989 brought to us the rival to the Super Nintendo, the Sega Genesis. The Sega Genesis somehow managed to make me feel like I was the coolest kid on the block by saying I had one. We all know the Genesis does commercial, but this commercial is said to be the actual launch commercial for the Sega Genesis release. This commercial is really cool. It's made to make you feel like something epic is coming, something legendary is coming, and yes, something legendary did come, and something epic did come into our home. This was a wonderful commercial to watch. Sit back, relax, and enjoy this one. And so it was, late in the 20th century, that a pox fell upon the land, a plague of home videos that were limited in intelligence. There was brain drain, and terminal boredom swept the countryside. The maker looked down and was not pleased by what he saw, and said, this is not good. And so it was, he brought forth Genesis, a system with twice the power, twice the intelligence, twice the challenge, twice the fun. Only a chosen few were called forth to experience this new dimension of high definition graphics and stereo sound. And the maker saw what he had done and said, now that, that's not bad. Discover Genesis, and your world will never be the same. In 1991, we got the Sega Game Gear, Sega's first dive into the handheld portable market. The Sega Game Gear really set out after the Game Boy with this ad. Talking about the lack of color in the Game Boy, making it feel like you were lame if you played a Nintendo Game Boy. They also take a very straight up jab approach, which was very normal this time, but they say straight up, you are lame, we separate the men from the boys by knowing who plays a Game Boy and who is cool and plays a Game Gear. It swept the country like a plague. 
thousands of helpless teenagers trapped in a dull, drab world of colorless video games. But there is hope. Color? Introducing Game Gear from Sega. The full color portable video game system that separates the men from the boys. Game Gear from Sega. Love it or hate it, in 1992, the Sega CD came to us. Well, the Sega CD adds CD-ROM support as well as more processing power. A commercial that is set out to make you feel like the Sega CD is the most extreme, intense thing you've ever seen and that nothing in the world could possibly be better than it. It's interesting, they choose to really focus on Night Trap here, of all things, and talk about trying to be extra edgy. I remember seeing this as a kid and thinking to myself, there is no way graphics will ever get better than what I'm seeing on my TV screen right now, so this ad, well back in the day, it worked at least on me. Pretend it's a game. Well, I don't have a good way to introduce this one. In 1994, we got the Sega Pico. This console flipped what Sega was doing at the time. Sega was reaching out to more edgy teenagers at this time and they flipped it and turned it and shifted focus onto more younger youth and education and learning. And for what the console is, I actually really adore this commercial. Something about the kid's voice just works. He is having fun telling you about the console, but he also sounds sincere. I don't know exactly why, but truthfully, I really dig this ad. Excuse me, I just want to turn your TV off and turn you on to the power of your kid's imagination. This is Pico from Sega. You know, Sega! It works with storybook software and this magic pen. Touch the storybook and images come alive right on your TV, interactively. Touch the learning pad and they can draw, color, they can even animate their own cartoons. Speaking of which, I'll turn your program back on now. See you real soon. Bits were everything back in the day, so to be able to switch from 16-bit to 32-bit, oh, you better bet Sega brought us the Sega 32X. This ad starts out really smart, telling us and explaining to us that mankind as a whole has always wanted to evolve into bigger and better. Then the commercial goes into a frenzy of jump cuts and in-your-face clips, which is standard for Sega at this point in time. Let me know your thoughts on this commercial down below. This is what you expect, right? Since the beginning of time, mankind has striven to double and redouble his powers. A mysterious machine has appeared in homes across America. Alright, baby. Increase the power of the unit 40 times. 32. X. Welcome to the next life. Did you spill your drink? I don't have a drink. Uh-oh. A Sega console I used to wait in line for all the time at Toys R Us, and that is the Sega Saturn, which came out in 1995. I have seen the Sega Saturn launch commercial more times than I can count, so for this one, I went with the Japanese edition to kind of switch things up. This commercial starts out whimsical, and then it takes a turn. Yes, a deep turn to midgets with boneheads putting on businessmen masks while listening to clown music. I didn't make that up. I'm really confused, but I'm not surprised at all for Sega at the time. Saturn from Saturn. Sega. 9-9-1999. Yes, the Sega Dreamcast, the beloved Sega Dreamcast. Sega's last hurrah for the home console market. And for this one again, I went with something a little different. I went with the UK launch trailer. This commercial is interesting. For myself back in the day, I would have been really upset seeing this because they don't really show any gameplay. The commercial doesn't make much sense until the very end. So make sure and stick this one out.
We all play games. Why don't we play together? Dreamcast. Up to six billion players. And in 2005, we got your favorite console, the Advanced Pico Bina. I couldn't find a commercial for this. This came out in Japan only. Here's this. <laughs> enjoyed this video any way shape or form make sure and hit the like button i would appreciate it it helps me out it helps my motivation for the week that's it from us here at superhero game squad make sure to hit subscribe also and we'll see you guys soon on another episode have a good day